happy Friday from Restorative. This is Madison exploring the other side of Restorative. Maybe the uh, <laughs> steamier side. More on that in just a minute. Um, tonight I'm here with uh, Christina and Miss Heen, and we're giving our own selves some time together to um, really just enjoy what we offer. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about the bee steaming that Christina offers, and I think it's so exciting, one, to pivot at such a interesting time in this world. Oh, when COVID happened, she had just come out to do something new and fun, and so I'm really proud of her for that. And um, it's always nice to get to see um, the other ways that restorative offers um, people to help give themselves love and time and attention. And I, I've had a million little jokes and funny things about the bee steaming, and I've never seen it all set up. I always wondered what happened, and now <laughs> I'm gonna know. <laughs> so um, I really wanted to share this with you, and I kind of want to. Um, bring out Miss Christina a little bit to talk about this and then show you what we're doing. Oh, hello! Hi! Oh my gosh, okay, hi. There's been Wayne. Alright, okay. So I'm Christina Michelle and I uh, share the space here at Restorative with Madison. And I am a vaginal steam therapist along with other things. I also am a hypnotherapist. Um, but tonight we're going to be focusing on the vaginal or bee steaming. You might also have heard of it as yoni steaming. And it is just a very good practice for detoxifying. Um, well, actually you can detoxify your whole body because the steam is really good for that. But mainly focusing on um, healing for the vaginal area and also just really like connecting with yourself so you don't have to have any problems down there to be steam like you can do it just to as a form of meditation as a form of self-care you can do it um, just for relaxation um, but it does really help with cramps and things like that so that's actually how I got interested in it because I used to have the worst cramps ever in life oh. And after like four V steaming sessions, all of my cramps went away. Ah! Um, my you period, were saying that yeah. for folks. Yeah, seriously. Like my periods went from seven days to four days. Like I learned that our periods should only be four days of just regular, you know, nothing heavy or crazy or clotty. Um, but a lot of women have those problems. And so the V steaming just, it, it clears the uterine lining um, oh. and it takes care of all of that. Um, it's also really good if you're trying to get pregnant because, again, it prepares the uterus for implantation by like cleaning the uterine wall from all the gunk and stuff that just gets stuck up there. Um, it's really I'm good. excited, really, for the. <laughs> like, I did the assessment. Oh yes. <laughs> and it was like there was a spot that was like getting rid of energies from yes. past loves or whatever. Detoxing so. from ex lovers. <laughs> I was like, let's get some holy water on there. <laughs> Take that yes. miracle. <laughs> Well, yeah, we store a lot of like just trauma and just like blocked emotions in our uterus. And so the steaming is really good for helping us to release that as well. And for doing some manifestation work, um, Madison has coined it vagestation. No, vagestation. Va va like, I well, love it. I love it. Well, so, yeah. what I really appreciated about knowing that we were doing this time, which was one, to get together with people I love and care about and I don't get to spend that much time with. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, and so I really appreciated that, as well as um, specifically, I mean, not that I don't think about down there very often, but um, this was like, tonight it was like, I was, like, I showered. <laughs> like, I wanted it to be special. Like, I set the intention. And I think that's really important to give that space. Yeah. So, Miss Christina is going to get ready for this. And I am uh, going to go ahead and get the robe on. I'll be right back. And now that I'm in my gown and my attire, um, the blend is ready for me. She, according to my assessment, she did a nice blend that um, emphasized on nettles as well as mints. So fresh new <laughs> start down there. Um, so I'm gonna get started right now. Um, I have to be honest. I wanted to do this ever since I saw this gown, just so I could be like, oh happy day, oh happy 